Speaking to state house correspondents after the meeting, Elder Statesman Alahaji Tanku Yakasai revealed that prior to Tinubu's declaration of his intention to run for the presidency, the APC national leader had visited his home seeking his blessings. From Sir Abubakar Tafa Balewa, I assure you, is the last leader of this country from the political class. And I'm a politician. I spent 60 something years in politics. I know that only politicians will correct this country. On his part, Chief B.C. Akonde, an ally of President Tinubu, expressed his optimism for the future of Nigeria under the current administration, highlighting the importance of rejuvenating the governing all progressive Congress, APC, and re-establishing good governors across the nation. I merely watch the perception of the country. Very excellent. People are happy with him. And that's why I boldly come during the daytime. Also speaking, Muhammad Usanusi, a former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, commended President Chinubu on the removal of petrol subsidy and ending multiple exchange rates. As you know, many of the issues that we have been talking about, uh, the subsidy that has caused a hemorrhage on the fiscus, the multiple exchange rate regimes, and so on, uh, these are issues that I have personally been talking about for a long time. And I'm happy that on his very first day, he has addressed these issues and the markets are happy. Speaking further on the outcome of his meeting, Sanusi said Tinubu promised that the federal government will take a closer look at the Air Force raid that killed at least 37 herders in Nasarawa earlier this year. I came to appeal to him on the case of the 37 herdsmen who were bombed by the Air Force in Nasarawa State uh, a few months ago, uh, which uh, we wrote a letter to President Buhari on. Uh, and we have now written a reminder because it's a matter we do not want to be swept under the carpet. And um, the President has asked me again to send him that letter, and I'm sure that he will look into, into the matter. The airstrike that occurred in Doma, a community that connects Nasarawa and Benue states on January 24, 2023, claimed the lives of about 37 persons who were waiting to transport their cattle. However, the Nigerian Air Force denied allegations that the airstrike struck civilians.